Our in-depth coverage of tonight's breaking news continues. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Kleiner spoke with the president of the NAACP's Providence chapter a moment ago. He joins us now live with how he's reacting tonight. Yeah, Mike and Shannon, good evening. That's right. This is the freshest reaction you're going to see at this hour from Jim Vincent. As you mentioned, he is the head of the Providence branch of the NAACP. Suffice to say, he is disappointed by this outcome. He was a longtime critic of the prosecuting attorney, questioned his neutrality, and also called his rollout of the announcement tonight a bit bizarre. Take a listen. It just didn't seem right. There was something about this that didn't feel good. And I think the community is really frustrated. They're really angry. It does nothing to help. Uh, you have a dead uh, teenager. Uh, it just didn't seem like justice was served. And Jim Vincent, like so many others tonight and in the days leading up to this, have, have called for peace, order, restraint, all of the above in Ferguson and in other parts of the country tonight. But as images and video come into us at this hour, it appears that may not entirely be the case. Vincent also notes the possibility going forward as the story he believes, and many would agree with this, has not ended the possibility of civil litigation moving forward. Live with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom at this hour, I'm Jared Pletter, Eyewitness News. And stay with Eyewitness News for continuing coverage of tonight's grand jury decision in Ferguson. Coverage continues tomorrow on Eyewitness News this morning starting at 4.30. We'll have a former Chief Justice of the Rhode Island Supreme Court, Frank Williams, in studio to talk about the grand jury process. Plus, you can get extended coverage online, including photo galleries and all the latest headlines.